At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the child like, Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They say that there are two ways of doing theology. It is an expression. One way of doing theology, they say it is to do it sitting, and the other is to do it kneeling. Well, surely it is an expression. Maybe we should say that you can also do theology, maybe walking, like that school of the Perteticus philosophers where Aristotle gave his classes while walking. But what do they mean by that? There is a theology that is done thinking, sitting, walking, turning over the head. Well, it is good that it is surely a good theology too, because maybe the position is not so important. But like a symbol, another theology is done kneeling, before God adoring, that is to say, there is a theology that seems to be made to justify sins, to adapt to the world, to give men excuses, to do what the body asks, what the instant demands without having problems of conscience. There is a theology and not only mortal theology, but also and perhaps it started there, biblical theology. When from the Protestant sphere came those masters of suspicion in the Bible, Bowman, a theology that was dedicated to questioning if Jesus Christ was God, if what the Gospel told was truth, if the miracles were nothing more than inventions or suggestions of those who received them, as if one could grow an arm by suggestion, and then naturally came out only the biblical theology dedicated to taking away the strange of the message of Jesus, hurting, even destroying the message that is Jesus, but also dogmatic theology or theology above all, moral theology and also liturgical theology, the seated theology, that theology of the comfortable, that theology that they have done, that they have do and have been doing it for so many years, those who are well fed and who are dedicated to spin the arguments so that you do not have to do what you do not like, but you can be at peace with your conscience. Those who are dedicated to convince you that what the world asks for and what your body asks for is well done. Because please, in these times, to talk about hell, who can think of it, or please, how can you say that there is a sin? when everybody does it, etc., etc., etc. That theology is the one that Jesus talks about in today's Gospel. Those are the wise and knowledgeable ones. They think a lot, a lot to justify the words and they justify whatever, whatever it takes. You will always find one of those theologians sitting there of these theologians who are, insist, well fed and well paid, I am not referring to money, but to the applause of the great public, you will always find one of those theologians who tell you what you want to hear. They were those false prophets of the Old Testament. They flattered the kings so that the kings will sit them at their table and have them, treat them well, full of honors and gifts. The kneeling theology is the theology of those who seek to know the truth regardless of the price of that truth, and the truth is nobody's my head more or less brilliant, and mine is certainly not by far most brilliant, perhaps the most brilliant of all times from the theological point of view has been that of St. Thomas, 
Well, my theology, the kneeling theology, is that which seeks to know the truth and the truth is Jesus, to know Jesus, to know Jesus for what? To love Jesus, to adore Jesus, to honor Jesus, to obey Jesus, to serve Jesus. But what else does theology have to do? What is theology? Theology is Theos Logos. Theos equals God. Logos, science. Sophia is wisdom. Logos, Logos. The word, the science, the study of God. It is not adapting God to men so that God becomes the slave of men, but it is adapting men to God so that man fulfills his vocation to be the image and likeness of God. It is not reducing God to the level of the servant, but raising men to the level of the Lord. True theology is done kneeling before God to love God, to honor God, to serve God. True theology is that which perhaps does not need much study, but it needs the strong needs. True theology is that which without, surely without having studied anything, has a lot of simple people who know more about God, about the love of God, about the truth that is God, than many of those wise and knowledgeable people who sit in the most prestigious chairs in the world. I liked it. I liked it very much. It edifies me. It helps me when I see these simple people prostrated before an image of the Lord, of the Blessed Virgin praying with her eyes full of tears, with anguish drawing on their face. Possibly their faith is not perfect, and possibly it has a lot of interest and lacks of gratitude. Possibly their faith is not perfect. At least in some cases I say possibly. But they have faith. They have faith. They go to pray before the Virgin of Guadalupe, or they go to pray before the Lord of the Miracles in Lima. They go to arrest before the Virgin of Carmen in Chile, or before the Virgin of Luján in Argentina, and they shout in favor of the Immaculate in Nicaragua. These people have faith. They are our people still good. I repeat, that will not be a perfect faith. That will be a faith. They will have to be purified of many mystical, magical things. There will be a faith that has to be enriched by gratitude. But they have faith, and when you see the chair of Moses, you discover that they are city theologians who do nothing more than tell this good. Simple people, they can do whatever they want, whatever their body asks them, whatever it is. Even the most dreadful crimes, such as abortion, with a clear conscience. The Lord thanks the Father for those who are simple, for those who have faith that will not be perfect and who have a life and a behavior that surely is not perfect either. But who have faith? Who have faith like a master seed and he listens to them and attends to their supplications and takes pity on their tears? On the other hand, those otherwise and knowledgeable people are in say empty words. They are inflated. They have nothing in sight. I do not know if they ever had it, but throughout time they have sold themselves to power. They have sold themselves to the world, and unfortunately they dedicate themselves to try to make others also be contaminated like them. I would like to always have the faith of my parents the faith of my elders, the simple faith of the people, because that faith is the one that brings me closer to God. That is the faith of those who do theology on their knees. Amen.